Ladies and gentlemen, this is the state of the Ghana music industry address. Now, 2022, I am happy for what is happening in the industry. It'd be like when an artist really speed up in 2022. And I'm 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 very proud of them. Like, you see, I've been someone uh, like I always want to see them do uh, um good in their uh field of endeavor, you understand? So when I see some of these things, some of these moves happening, some of these collaborations, some of these bangers, some of um the songs topping uh, Apple Music chat and all those things, I they make happy because bro, this is what we want. And I mean, we are two months into 2022 and bro, the music, the collaborations, the music videos, the bangers, we, our artists are basically taking over the charts. And that is what I'm talking about. This is what we have been preaching. And I am happy said so two months, two months so into the, uh, uh, um, the year, you know, when the artists are out there, like everybody, I make red. Everybody is strategically trying to position him, himself. Everybody is trying to drop a banger. Everybody is investing in music videos. And I love it. I love it. Look at the songs. We have Camido coming with Sugar King, uh, Kevin Boy, Down Flat, um, 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 Black Sheriff, and, and, and Bernard Boy, uh, uh, Second Sermon Remix, uh, Kiddy Tiger, Kim Promise Pato Rankin. Music. Oh, Charlie, are you not happy? And I, bro, 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 I'm happy. And you see that, I, you see, what, in 2021, when I did rant, I already tell you people, say, um, the young guys, they are going to take over this year. This is their year. This is their year, and they are taking control. They are driving the narrative. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. And it is about time the industry, everybody should miss it this year. We are not going to sleep on anyone. And I, oh, we are sleeping on this. Oh, this guy is too talented. And I, bro. Those days when you, you check Apple Music, top 200 or top 100 songs in Ghana, you see Nigeria songs. Go and check it right now and see something. I'm not saying that we don't have Nigerian songs dominating it. And I'm not saying some people shouldn't play Nigerian music. But when you check the top 100 list, you see Ghana music topping it. Because it is top 100 Ghana. And I expect, oh God, I'm happy. These are some of the things we should be highlighting in our works. Kidi Kwame Yuji. They, they are having um, um, the O2 Indigo concert in March. Brilliant. No, you now, nah. as you can see the things that happen for the industry, you know they be you. I mean, they be you. When you go on social media, Ghanaians are using Ghanaian music in TikToks and all those things. Are you not entertained? Bro, at some point when I went on, uh, yeah, TikToker, oh, out of 10 videos that I will see, you know, in my news feed, you no, know, seven out of the 10, you no, know, um, the soundtrack that they, are, they have used in their videos, you no. Know, it be Ghana songs. Camido, um, my head, I know uh, Kevin Boy Kid. Bro, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. We are this is our year. This is the year for the youngins. I'm not saying say we should relegate uh, the efforts of the OGs to the background. But what I'm saying is we should we should we should place much emphasis. We should put effort in, in, in promoting the young talent because they are doing it. Jackie is about to release an EP. Let's go. Our artists have been signed to uh, uh, um, um, international uh, uh, distribution labels and uh, record labels and they are signing distribution deals and all those things. I've seen most of the Ghanaian artists are signed to Empire and all those things, which is good. Because it's 100% independent. I know that are 100% independent and they have been saying, of course, bro. You are not going to get it French like that. At some point, you are not. No, but nah, bro. Don't believe in that 100%. No, bro. There are contracts day. You, you, you forgo something. You have to give in something to get something. But overall, I love the energy that we have started with, uh, with this year. When it comes to our music. 
We are doing amazing. Make nobody tell you say we are not doing. It. I know Nigerians too. The Nigerians too are pushing. Small team, you know, you go see say Rema then uh, uh, Leo Nas X day here. Then you go see say Omale too. Then Justin Bieber they shoot music video. Bro, let's all move. Let's go. Let's go out there. Let's go out there. But one thing that is dear to me is it seems say uh, as if the thing that happen and we they forget the artists from the north. It's like the South, we have deliberately made a uh, calculated effort to sideline the, the Northern artists. And it's a sad. I don't know, man. I don't know. One, one, one artist from the North was complaining to me, my DMs, be telling that the award scheme, I think um, three music awards, they've sidelined a lot of their artists and they are bad at it. Because looking at what they are doing over there, filling stadiums, coming to Accra, filling stadiums, they deserve to be heard. They, they, they deserve to be part of the conversation. But when some of these things happen now, Charlie, it'd be like we have relegated their efforts to the background and it is always a cra, 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 cra. Tema, tema, tema. Bro, it should be evenly distributed. I'm not saying say I'm the only one that is going, bro. Everybody, if we are trying to have, um, um, we should have an evenly distributed co uh, conversation. We should make sure say every, because there are artists in the eastern region, there are artists in the northern, there are artists in in in, bro. They are all distributed across the place. We should make sure say some of their jobs or some of their works are highlighted. You understand where I'm coming from? Because um. I they look at things, I they see the conversations happening, I they see the strategic positionings, I they see that I've been talking to industry players and Charlie. You see, big things are happening, things are coming. We are going to get there. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, say, oh no, we rich. We have not reached anywhere. The potential for this, oh no, we don't reach anywhere. Come on, bro. Don't don't make it look like I they try to talk still with day up there already. No, we have a lot of job to do. But me, I'm just saying that this year. Based on the releases and the kind of like speed people are like, everybody is trying to be in the conversation. And the OGs, you see Sarkodie sharing um, 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 Kevin Boy's video. You see, beautiful. One thing, you see, see you go first set your agenda against Sarkodie. You go first say whatever you have to say, you know. I know I'm not in the good books of Sark Nation or Sarkodie or whatnot, but bro. The effort, the calculated effort that Sarkodie makes when it comes to helping or sharing other people's work is beautiful. Let's establish this, bro. Go on social media right now. He has shared, uh, he will share Jackie's music. He will share Black Sherry's music. He will share Kevin Boy's music. He will share Kwame Huge. Bro! This is an OG. He go see him, but he say he will do. But he's pushing. You know, he say he go share, he go share for Facebook, can't share for Twitter. And that is beautiful. That is one thing you can take away from Sarkozy. I mean, a lot of people have their, you know, people have their conversations about him and people have their opinions and perceptions about him. But when it comes to being benevolent, when it comes to uh, uh, putting the youngins on, whether, I mean, I'm not talking about signing them, but the fact that this man is willing to use his platform to highlight the works of the young artists we have in this country, it is commendable and we should talk about it more often. And a lot of people should do it. You understand me? This is what, how we are supposed to, this is supposed to be a collaborative effort. Everybody should come on board. We should push Ghana music to the world. And the artist too, I, I think I saw a video where one TikTok creator was saying that so when they create content with their music, the artists they don't share it. I mean, this has been a conversation for a very long time. I don't think I don't know if it's gonna change or not. But the artists, bro, make yourself available. You understand to your fans, engage. When people use your content to do music, uh, to do um, skits and all those things, try share, do all those things because that is like when when you do those things, people feel like they are part of you like they, they get to relate to you on some level you understand and it they, they, they keep your ground base like your farm base grounded your grassroots grounded so yes that is basically what i wanted I've, 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 I've observed a lot of things and like bro it's been two months and i've seen a lot of things happening
Last year, we had a conversation about Ghanaians not consuming Ghana music and the fact that we are not dominating the Apple Music uh, 100, top 100 list or whatnot. Our scene is making moves now and it is commendable. Keep streaming Ghana music. Let's keep, let's keep moving. Let's keep supporting. Because eventually, I, say this year, I don't want to hear like, oh, we slept on, we are not sleep. Uh, nobody be mattressed for this industry. No song be mattressed. This year, we are moving. I've seen Mr. Drew in France doing a collaboration with some French artists. This is what I'm talking. Are you not fucking entertained, bro? When you see some of these things, you feel proud to be associated with the industry. People are releasing music, bro. Consume Ghana music. I'm not saying that and you don't get the cry. Listen to it by force. No, I can't force you to listen to what you don't like. But make the conscious effort because, bro, once people are playing the song, bro, even if it is not nice to you, at you, you for now, there are some songs you have to consume it for um, a specific time frame in order to get used to the sound. Like to um, um, the song, they grow on you. Do not give up on the Ghana sound because we will get there. I know people criticize. Oh, this guy sounds like Nigerian. This guy's bro, bro, bro. You consume uh, Nigerian songs, right? If 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 you if you like Nigerian music and Ghanaians are replicating the Nigerian music, why are you why are you mad? I feel like you should be happy, right? Because if you like if you like consuming Nigerian music, Nigeria Afro be Nigeria sound, and Ghanaians are doing. Um, something similar to it. Shouldn't you be happy? I've seen a lot of people pass comment about a, a, a Kevin Boy's song. My head, I know if you took it. If you mean a defense, who, they say it's similar to uh, Mayo Kun's song, or uh, I don't know. Uh, yes, it has similar sound and all those things. But doesn't matter though. That song is the number one song in the country right now. Top 100 songs on Apple Music. That's the number one song. Kevin Boy's uh, Down Flat. It doesn't really matter, bro. Afro beats rhythm, no? It be the same. The beats be the same. All you people don't realize. No, no. Run it through. They are all similar. So I don't see... You see, I'm not saying say don't criticize. But Charlie, sometimes you for just vibe, bro. Let's move. I'm learning it the hard way. This year, I said we are promoting everyone. Everybody. Whether me that you did so or me that you know did so. We the move. Let's get, let's, let's get our names out there. Let's push the Ghana music out there. And the award schemes, no. Please, do not. It, the Ghana music no be a cry alone. A cry no be only the Ghana music industry. The industry is huge. Bring people on board. Highlight on the works of people outside a crowd. We can't just be a... It's like, if you want to make it as a musician, you're supposed to move from Kumasi to a crowd. You're supposed to move from Central Region to a crowd. How are we doing this? And I'm not saying that I am exempted from this conversation. We all have, we have, we all have parts to play. Everybody should be on board. Ghana music is on the rise like steel, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving. We are moving forward. By the end of this year, a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of things are going to happen. Brace yourselves. Because it's about to go down, bro. I feel it. I see it. I see it. I feel it. I'm not a prophet or anything. But I feel like great things are coming. Like, we're going to... My Boston, bro. My Boston. Anyway, but yes, this is not a yaw of the day. This is just an industry statement. Stream Ghana music. Stream Kim Promise music. Stream Kevin Boy's music. Stream Black Sheriff music. Stream Sarkodie music. Stream Manifest. Jackie. Wendy Shea. Uh, Sister Fia. Uh, who? Yao Talk. Uh, Mark Omnuna. Uh, bro, I can't mention all the names. Aquabua. Look at what Aquabua has done with High Life. People said High Life was dead. He single-handedly sacrificed her hairline for High Life to resurrect. And now he has bangers all over. He has a banger wedding. They are playing it. 
Shouts to Akwabwa, shouts to Sinaso. Patapa music, stream it. We are going to get there, bro. It's about time. It is our time. And the time is now. Ghana music to the fucking reality. I shall be back.